गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन वेलकम बैक टू आर ए वी एस वन क्लास माई सेल्फ मिस शगुफ्ता शेख हैव कम अप विद अ न्यू लेसन दैट इज लेसन नंबर एटीन चेंजेस इन द फैमिली एंड नेबरहुड स्टूडेंट्स नाव यूर फोर पिक्चर्स आर गिवन यू हैव टू ऑब्जर्व इट केयरफुली एंड वॉट डिफरेंस कैन यू फाइंड बिटवीन दिस पिक्चर्स यू विल टेल मी नाव लेट एस सी द फर्स्ट पिक्चर The first picture is of year 1950. In the in this picture, what we can see, one woman and one man is there. Now we'll move to on to the second picture. The second picture is of year 1970. Here, what we can see, the woman which we have seen in the first picture is have now become old, and her son, her daughter-in-law, and her grandchildren are there. and the man which we have seen in the first picture his photo is on wall means that he is no more he have passed away now we will move on to the third picture that is of year 1990 20 years after in this picture what we can see the woman and the man is passed away and their son daughter in law and their grandchildren have grown up now we will move on to the fourth picture the fourth picture is of today means this picture is of present in this what we can see this man and woman has become now old and now they have their son daughter in law and grandchildren so have you find the difference between all the four pictures now we will move forward students now you have to try this you have to gather the following information about your family from your parents and grandparents how many people were there in your family in each year shown above did the number of people in your family change every time how did the changes occur all the answer to this questions you will ask from your parents students each family have different number of people this number does not remain the same as the time passes it may increase or decrease marriage is one of reason for such a loss or gain means for example if your uncle gets married he will bring a bride which will be your aunty to your family the number of members of your family will increase but in the same way if your father sister that is your aunty gets married and goes to another family that time there is decrease in the family one more reason for this is the birth taken place in the family when a new member is born in a family there is increase in the family member but if somebody dies due to reasons like old age illness or accidents the number of its member is reduced or decreases so the number of family never remains same it keeps on increasing or decreasing other reasons are that sometimes the children in a family go to other places for their education or for some job or occupation to other places that time they keep on moving from one place to another so that time the number of members in the family again gets increase and decrease when a person moves from one place to another in order to live in is that is called migration and due to migration marriages birth death the number of members of family keeps on changing so it is not only in our family this changes occurs but the entire society has the same process that is the marriage birth or any other reasons a family members get added in your family or he get decreased 
that is the number of members in a family is decreased so there is a change in the number of family members and the number of family members never remain same students do you know birds also migrate now here is a picture of beautiful birds that are in pink color these birds are called flamingos these birds migrate every year from one place to another at a fixed time some flamingos fly far away while some others do not go very far away these birds migrate due to the cold old colder time of the year they migrate to a place which is warmer in climate the area which is warm so mostly these flamingos migrate in india also they arrive from kutch in gujarat to sambar lake in rajasthan even in maharashtra that is mumbai and satara we can see this flamingo birds they even come from pakistan afghanistan iran and israel between october to march before they fly out around the month of june these flamingos often are seen in flocks flocks means group of birds even though they stay together in flocks they do not have families neighbors like human beings so here we will stop now i hope you all might have understood till here the remaining part of our lesson we will continue in our next video till then read the lesson properly and kindly subscribe our channel to receive further notification thank you